China is poised to introduce its most advanced stealth bomber as the country continues to expand its air force. The H-20 bomber is seen as China's answer to the U.S. B-21 Raider. The U.S. Defense Department estimates a range of more than 5,300 miles for the H-20, the last in China's new generation Series 20 fighter, which will double the country's strike range. Lieutenant General Jiu Jigging said, the Air Force must enhance its combat capabilities in defensive and offensive airspace operations. According to former PLA instructor Song Zhongping, Jiu's remarks are a strong implication that China plans to introduce the A-20 bomber in the near future. As Deputy Commander of the Air Force, Jiu Jigging has given a clear message for the launch of the H-20, which is an indispensable part of the Air Force building a strong strategic deterrence. Lieutenant Colonel Zhu Zheoja, head of the Air Force Equipment Department, said that the upgrade and replacement the weapons will continue as the Chinese military works towards its goal of becoming a world-class fighting force. The presence of these Chinese bombers has changed the map of military power competition that has only been contested by Russia and America so far. That the rapid development of the PRC or People's Republic of China military made it slip in as one of the largest military forces in the world between the two blocks of large military powers, namely Russia and the United States. The Chinese military does not only rely on the very large number of military personnel, but also always innovates in the development of defense equipment and military weapons. Even some of these weapons are claimed to be more sophisticated than their original owners. And one of the strategic weapons that is claimed to be more sophisticated is the H-20 Stealth Strategic Bomber. This aircraft, which is similar in design to the United States' sophisticated B-2 bomber, has made various countries, especially America and Russia, smile wryly and rethink about China's military strength. H-20 or Qianhong-20, which is expected to air over Asia and the world in 2020 and be mass-produced in 2025, yes. Once again, if we observe together, in appearance the H-20 is indeed very similar to the American B-2 bomber. Is China plagiarizing? What is clear is that a well-known national interest website says that the presence of the H-20 stealth bomber would be a bad dream for the United States military. The Cheyenne H-20 did indeed appear at the parade celebrating the 70th anniversary of the Chinese Air Force in 2019. Previously, the H-20 marketing campaign video had also been spread which was similar to Hollywood films. In this video, for example, the giant aviation industrial corporation released a promotional video in May 2018 depicting a winged bomber. This was emphasized again by the commander of the Chinese Air Force, who officially stated the existence of the H-20. In the official statement, it was stated that the H-20 does have a very long range in stealth technology, so that the map of world military strength between America, Russia, and China will definitely change. Until now, there are only three countries that have the energy sources to develop a large strategic component, which can dominate the world. These countries are America, Russia, and China. Strategic bombers were indeed an idea for China, as they valued dominance of the Western Pacific Ocean. This is to deal with the challenges posed by America in the region. Some observers stated that the H-20 would be given a dual task, namely as a reconnaissance and command control aircraft similar to the F-35 stealth fighter. This is indeed a big idea of China, where the Chinese military has actually developed a variety of long-range land and sea missiles, but does not have a strong command network to form a chain of attacks that gives signals to missiles. In order to achieve long-range targets, theoretically, the H-20 can be a pioneer in front by spying on the opponent's position using the ASA radar, not only that the H-20 can also be used for electronic warfare. The H-20 is also tasked with being able to carry nuclear weapons, although the H-6 is an indigenous Chinese bomber, it is no longer configured for nuclear attack. China's development of stealth aircraft technology in the J-20 and J-31 stealth fighters is a key prerequisite of the H-20 project, so it seems likely is the development of the Y-20 giant cargo aircraft. The H-20 will be classified as an intercontinental aircraft with a range of 5,000 kilometers, and with a much larger capacity than the H-6 and has the ability to carry nuclear weapons. It can also carry at least 10 to 23 tons of ammunition 
equipped with four turbo engines planted on the upper wing surfaces with S-shaped sawtooth inlets. The current WS-10 engine is indeed facing big problems, but that doesn't stop China from using the Machine 21 of them. What continues to be done is the development of Chinese military weapons companies. If the H-20 project succeeds, this will certainly have implications for the United States military strategy to participate in developing anti-stealth technology, which is currently also being developed by China and Russia. The presence of China's newest military weapons will change the map of world military power. Russia and America must continue to work so that China's defense equipment and military weapons are not overtaken by China. The H-20 is one of China's newest weapons which, although it is still in the refinement stage, poses a huge threat to world security. Then what about other countries like France, England, Germany, Singapore, Vietnam, or even our own country? If we don't innovate, of course it will make us even more left behind. We must be able to stand on our own feet by trying to create or at least modify existing sophisticated weapons, so that we are not only a user country, but also a country that can produce sophisticated military weapons. It's hard, but with the existing determination and ability, I think we will be able to stand on an equal footing with other developed countries.